Having said that, you know, we're going to go into Renner's Nuggets. I want to tell people how to get, get, become wealthy. And it's something that will never fail you. This is the way everybody who is wealthy in a sustainable way became wealthy. You have got to use your earned income. No matter how small it is, you've got to use your earned income for only your needs. And then when you've met your needs, you invest the rest. It doesn't matter how small your earned income is. Focus on only your needs. If your needs are so much, then you've got to discipline yourself and reduce your needs. You've got to use your earned income. You see, a lot of people see some people with iPhone 15s or iPhone 14s and then they also want to buy. But the thing is that those people who are with those, you know, like luxurious items, they are using their investment incomes to buy them. You are using your salary, your earned income to buy them. And it's not wise. You are ever going to be at that same level. You're never going to grow. So what you want to do when you get your earned income, which is your salary, your wages, your commissions, what you want to do is spend it on your needs. And then whatever is left, then you invest it. Now, look at that. When I'm talking about needs, your phone is not your need. You know, designer clothes are not needs. Just functional clothes are needs, yes. Rent is need, food is need. You know, like getting from point A to point B, transport is, you know, are your needs. But then every other thing else are not needs. So phone is a luxury. Data is a luxury. Internet is a luxury. So I'm telling you, when you get your earned income, focus on your needs and then invest the rest. You gotta look at money like a chicken. When you have a chicken, if you eat your chicken, if you kill it and you eat it, you get food for one day. But if you leave your chicken to lay eggs and then you sell those eggs, you get food every day. And then if you're wiser, you say, okay, if, I, if I'm, instead of selling all the eggs, I'm going to sell half of the eggs and I'll leave the other half to hatch. And then they become, they hatch into chickens and they start laying eggs. That means your wealth is increasing. That's how you have to treat your money. I'm going to give you an example. 2010, you know, Apple stock was just $50. $50. And then the Apple iPhone 10 at that time was $700. I remember vividly because that was when I bought 14 Apple stock because I just said, look, instead of buying an, uh, an Apple iPhone, I'm going to invest this money in Apple stock. And then all the people I knew around me were buying iPhones, they were buying iPhones. Today, those iPhone stocks, although I bought more, I bought much more, but the 14 that I bought, I worth about $3,000 because Apple stock was $50 in 2010. Today, it's $176. So those 14 stocks are worth about $3,000. Now, the Apple iPhone 10 is now worth only $40. You can actually go on Amazon. You can go on Craigslist. You can go on the internet and buy it for $40. So look at that. So investment grew from $700 to $3,000. Look at that. And then buying consuming it shrank from several hundred dollars to forty dollars that's what's going to happen to you when you don't invest your money when instead of investing your money you start using your earned income to buy luxuries things that you don't need no it doesn't matter at whatever stage you are everybody has assets everybody has assets if you're watching this with a phone that your phone is something that you can use to invest it's something that you can use to invest if you're living in a house it doesn't matter if the house is rented or if you own it you can actually put that house on airbnb and start to get income i went to kenya to train some bishops and while i was there i went to the biggest slum in africa it's called kibera there are people in that slum who are using their homes for airbnb so you in ghana you in nigeria you in tanzania you in cambodia thailand vietnam you can use your home for airbnb it doesn't matter if it's rented clean it up Take pictures, go to airbnb.com and then register, put your home there, start earning money. There are a number of things that you can do. Even right now, wherever you are, you can buy as little as $5 worth of stock in the US stock market with uh, apps like Trove, Shaka, Bamboo, Ito. But whatever it is you're doing, do not just spend all your earned income, invest some. So spend on all your needs and invest. Like you see me, a lot of people see me traveling first class now. They see me traveling you know, all around the world. They see me using Apple iPhones, the latest one. They see me dressing in designers. I wasn't doing this 20 years ago. 20 years ago, I was just working nine to five, getting money for wherever I can. I had about three jobs. And then I was investing the money. And right now, I'm now living my best life because I invested when I needed to invest. And right now, I can now live the life that I need to, that I need to live. That's how you make money. Now, my name is Reno Mokri, the Apostle of Prosperity. If you watch this and you're a subscriber of mine on the X formerly known as Twitter platform, ask your questions there. I will always respond to you. You guys are my priority. If you're not a subscriber, you're not going to be even watching the financial aspect. You're going to be watching the Reno's Nuggets, which I just finished. So how can you get the financial aspect? Go on Twitter. Search for me at Rena Omokri. On the top right hand corner of my X4 Binance Twitter profile, you're going to see a subscribe tab. Click on it. 
Follow the prompts and easy peasy lemon squeeze here, subscriber. Now, this is your post of prosperity saying, God bless you. But when no travels all around the world, I hope you get inspired about what you see. I post to love greatness, Reno is a master. Only one man against the old world in large, fighting with the monsters. Poverty, I can't stand. That's why Reno is a